Hi guys, and welcome, or Happy New Year. It's the new year, it's roughly 12.20 a.m., um, so we still got a little fireworks going off here and there, but I want to start off the year with a bang. So, um, this is Angela, if I didn't say so already. Um, I got some incense going here, my little towers here. But I'm starting off the January 1st with Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot. Um, it's from, um, let me show you this way. Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot 2022 prompts. And it looks like that. And then it shows that. Uh, share your journey on your fave social platform. And then it's hashtag 31 days of tarot. So here we go. Day one. Um, and it's going to be short. What tarot goodies did the holidays bring you? And technically, um, I have three tarot decks. Two I got today. Well, December 31st. Um, but then another one I got for Christmas last week. And it is the... Disney Alice in Wonderland tarot deck and guidebook. It is published by Minerva Siegel. I mean, Inside Editions. Um, it is by Minerva Siegel. Yeah, Inside Editions. And this one I actually got because the this particular deck is said to ex be extended on Amazon. Let me see if I can. There we go. Make it brighter said to have extended on Amazon to where you can't get it until uh, the middle of January I think or the end of January but I got this one it's actually exclusive edition at Barnes and Noble so I went to Barnes and Noble and there it was and I was oh my gosh I love it and it comes with a bag and I think that's because, why because it is an exclusive edition for them it comes with a great little book um, it's got this rose, uh, petal kind of finished on the cards and they're like regular tarot size and they're, oh, there went my incense stick. Sorry. Just got ashes all over it. All over it. I'm going to move that back just a hair. So they're beautiful cards. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Um. It's probably one of the first decks I've ever had that's just super sweet. Uh, it is a partial pip deck. But I don't care. I mean, I love the cardstock as well. It's very bendy. Um, and it just snaps back into place. Um, and it's got images like that. I mean, it's just beautiful. Um, and there are very... Some of the suits are very pippy and then some are not. So... I'm trying to find right now. Oh, look at this guy. So cute. So cute. So my husband actually gave me, um, he got a huge Christmas bonus. First time ever through his job. And um, gave me a, like, cash. And I wound up buying this with the cash. So... Technically, he got me this deck for Christmas, among other things. But yes, this is my Alice in Wonderland tarot. It's so cute, and I really haven't used it a whole lot yet, but I do plan on using it in the near future. So that is the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck and guidebook. So next we have the two I got today, and these were actually technically from my husband as well because he bought me some gifts um and then the gifts they were closed the clothes didn't fit by the time I got to try them on um and take them back they didn't have those clothes anymore so I had to just get my money back so I decided to go and get two, a couple of tarot decks instead uh which is really what I wanted anyway so um this one is the wandering star tarot I just did a walkthrough on it by Kat Pierce um, it is published by Hay House. Um, it is gorgeous, and I've already, if you've watched any of the walkthroughs of the 
the spreads I've just did, it's already like knocked my socks off. And I've had it maybe eight hours. <laughs> um, but these are the backs. It's got this like navy blue and then like a third eye. And this is not my aesthetic at all, but it is cute. Um, it has keywords. This is cho choice, decision, choice. Um, so I like a lot of, there's a lot of diversity in it. Um, look at that gorgeousness. Intuition, compar compassion, creativity. And a lot of them um, could have two keywords. Some of them could have five. Um, and they're all in different locations, which I love. They're not hindering the artwork by any means. The cardstock on these are amazing. It's just like the Light Sears, I think. Um, maybe a little sturdier than the Light Sears, even. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Um, and I love the black on pink in these. The pops. It just makes everything pop, right? Oops, knocked my tower over. Um... Yeah, and it's just so cute. So pretty. It's probably the second cutest deck I've ever gotten. So, yeah. That is my... Yeah, it's just really pretty. And I love the coloring in this. So beautiful. Look at that. Just beautiful. Beautiful artwork. So that is the Wandering Star Tarot by Cat Pierce. Pretty cool deck. Um, I did a walkthrough, and it's funny because the cards I pulled were just like with the spread I did before that with my five cent tarot. It was very much um, all about the majors. So I thought that was interesting. So the next deck, and it's the last deck I got because I didn't get any books or anything like that. It was all about the tarot. This is the Witch's Wisdom Tarot, also published by Hay House. If I can get it in there, Hay House. Um, it is by Phyllis Currot. I hope I'm saying that right. And Danielle Barlow is the artist. Um, the book so far is fantastic. Really cool looking comes in the box like this with the little bag it's gorgeous I love these little poems in here aren't that beautiful beautiful and everybody has this deck I'm just late to the party getting it I've had it on my wish list for a while and I always find something else because I'm like eh, I'm unsure about the artwork because again this is another one and it's super thick super big cardstock. It reminds me of my Ancestor Path Tarot. Um, and I think these cards are even thicker than that one. But, um, it's not that it's not my aesthetic. It's more of, I didn't know how I would react to this deck. So I, every time I went to go find something or find this deck, I would find something better that I wanted even more on my wish list. And these are the bags. They're beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, I am a little worried about the majors because they do seem to uh, matriculate differently like the the world is card one um, it's like they're going backwards like instead of the, the magician here we have the world um, and then the, the card two is Judgment, or I think it's a different word from judgment, but I haven't. I mean, I've just did a walkthrough tonight because I just got the cards today, but they're gorgeous. Um, they did give me all kinds of feels with them, um, but they are and they do are based on the elements. Um, there is a lot of groundedness in this deck, I feel. And look at that, just it's gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Um, but there is a lot of groundedness, I feel, in this deck. And a lot of earthiness. And I love that, love that about this deck. Um, I do feel like, um, look at that. I mean, come on. Um, and I love this aid of water. Look at the baby sea turtles all trying to go into the ocean. Wow. It is a really beautiful. 
beautiful deck. Um, and I do feel like this instant earthly connection to it. Um, it's just going to take a while to figure out the, um, the different names. And what their meaning is in this particular tarot deck. But, yeah, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous tarot deck. Gorgeous, gorgeous deck. So, yeah, that is the Witch's Wisdom uh, tarot deck. It comes with this cute little baggie. It comes with a nice box. The Witch's Wisdom. So, that is all the goodies I got for the holiday season. And that is uh, concludes day one of Anthony's 31 Days of Tarot for 2022. Um, and I will, if I remember, I'll leave her link below to the list um, for her website. Um, I think it's on her blog. You can go to her blog, anthony.com, Anthony I think, um, and pull up her blog and, and pull it up that way. But yeah, if you guys... Uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a great, great new year.